there friends, it's your good old buddy Eric from the Action Toys channel and today I got some things to show. Now today, this week, we have been productive. Productive, productive. In the sense that we've gotten a lot of things done. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to show off some 3D prints. Some have been cleaned up, some have not, some have broken and we have fixed them. And some turned out perfectly without any problems. And some issues were the fact that I... Ain't looking after the bed of the printer. So, first thing to show off is um, some of these. I have really liked doing these because they were fun. This is two scale with tabletop. They are skeleton warriors. As you can see, two are not cleaned up. One is cleaned up. This is cleaned up, but it was a failure because, look, my bed was slightly high on one side and it peeled off. Now, that being said, I got another guy right here. He's not cleaned up, but look at the bed. It's perfectly flat. It's because I, 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 I... The bed has been unscrewing for some reason. I don't know why. But yeah, this is not so bad. I like it. This reminds me of Jason and the Argonauts. <laughs> That's those. Now, I've got a bunch of those. Well, why is it? Okay. we got a bunch of those, and they're sitting right down here. Um, other things I've done, where did they go? Okay, well, this is the only one I can find right now. But I have a bunch of these made. I think I gave two to my son because he saw them and he had to have one. This is my model. Let me. This is the model I made for a Auto 9 from the movie Robocop. Now, as you can see, I stole the, uh, the, uh, M93R, which is the actual gun this gun was based off of. Now, normally this gun would have, you see this little thing right here? That's because this flips down and becomes a foregrip. So you can hold it like this. You can hold it like that and fire because it has a lot of kick from a recoil. Now, I took that and I made a compensator, like the Robocop compensator. Now you can see mine, the, the print would not, um, do this in solid like I kept doing it because the best way to get this result is to print it facing that way off from the bed and for some reason it wasn't getting this part of the rail in or the site so you know I was like oh okay cool that's awesome I love it it's turning out amazingly then I had somebody message me because I was cheering on social medias and the first thing they did was send me this Let me get that to focus. They said here, yours was a good try, but as you can see, mine didn't have this, which is a solid iron sight. Okay, it didn't have that. It's not as long, okay? The guard is solid on this one. Now it comes out and then it goes up. Mine is just a round M93R, um, M93R um, regular um, trigger guard. Now, I printed mine with the trigger in it. I have one laying around here somewhere that has no trigger in it because that's, how's it gonna fit inside the Robocop leg? Now, this one is the same way, okay? Now, this is my first attempt. It was printed printed like this. This is how it faced face up, so this was all covered in, um, there was a rim and then rafts all the way across. As you can see, I haven't completely filed them all off yet. Uh-huh. Now, the problem with that is that the raft gets stuck right in here because it's it's adhered to both on all on three sides. So when you remove it, you ha you're likely to break this off, which kind of sucks. Well, so I would always say, go this way. Make it face this way because that way, you know, you, all your rafts are right here. Whoops. Oops, sorry about that. Now your ass are all right on this side, and they go up, and as you can see on this one, the one I was sent, the SCL, really does look nicer. It, I, I, can't, I can't compete. Like, this is home, this is my make, and that's their make. Now, theirs has the, the rear iron sight. Mine doesn't. Uh, you see, the iron sight for this M93R starts here. And, and it doesn't continue. This one does. Now, this one has a rounded trigger guard. This one's squared off. 
So I would say um, this one is superior. So I was like, oh, I felt just a little disheartened on that. Okay, so now I've done that and not all the prints are all turned out the best. So this is the worst print. This is going to be my hero item. Um, all these are going to get painted. Um, the M the Auto 9s are all going to get painted black. Okay. Um, so here's this one. When I was pulling this one apart, I broke this right here, right off. And then this one come, this other side come with it. So then I had to glue it all back together. Um, I can file this all down and it'll look, it'll look proper. Now you notice I took out the trigger and that was so this can fit in the leg of the 12 inch. I think there's also an 18 or 14 inch uh, figure. So I want to get that. Um, the iron sight is all one piece, same. Still got all the uh, rafts, so it is that. It is what it is there. Okay, let me fix this. Okay. No, that's not the only thing I've done. Okay, this is my second print. The first one I got, I put somewhere and I can't remember where I put it. This is, now this is hard because I didn't do very well, but I tried. This is my, my version. Like I took, I took a bicycle. Uh, I, I, I made a bicycle handle, and I made a square, and I, I just looked at some references. This is a tract from, I can't remember what I got the tract from, but I was like, oh, that'll be cool, and I, you put it on there, and it was on there, so I was like, all right. Now, okay, everyone that had something like this, they had it in life size. I was like, oh, man. So, well, I dropped something. So I went through, and I tried to make it fit my, uh, four, no, my, three-fourths uh, scale figures from the Kenner alien line that's what this is for now I don't think it'll fit. I don't know if it'll ha if it'll hold but if it does uh, if it doesn't eh, you know I'm not gonna upscale it I'll just go through I'll change this to a solid blob right here and right here so it fits the hands um, which is gonna be the hard part so uh, all right so that's that no uh, if you look, if you, if you follow me on my social media, that's my Twitter, my Instagram, my Facebook page, my Minds page, which is new. Um, I was just I was trying to sort out a bunch of sites to go to, and Minds ended up being one of them. So I haven't got the other one signed up for you, but you will see this. Now this is huge. Now it I originally made it to be a replacement. For a vintage Aliens vs. Predator figure. Now, this is a figure I got from my mom before she passed. Look at this. Look, look, look. Oh, oh, oh. look at all that movement. Oh. You can see it move. Now, the only thing... I don't remember if this moves or not. No, it doesn't. Okay. That's fine. Single solid sculpt. The arms used to wiggle and fall off a lot, so I just glued them in place. Uh, I was like, eh, it's busted already, so... Um, this one is battle damaged, but the one that I, that is right here isn't battle damaged. In fact, the fingers aren't even the right size, but I was like, oh well. So that's going off the side for now. Now let me, one second guys, I gotta double check. Okay. Now there's, now I, oh, I printed this thinking I would get something that would be similar to the size of the queen. But it ended up looking like a gorilla arm on the figure. So then I was all right, all right, let's reset it to scale that I started with, okay? And it ended up being extremely tiny. Like, all right, here's all. I haven't cleaned it up yet because this was just going to be a reference piece. Okay, um, where'd the arm go? Yep. So as you see, this arm, like that, it's half the size. It is half the size. So I was like, all right, so half the size. Okay, so we got to find a, a medium. I printed off one more. I think I well, from this scale. I have to buy and say scale. Say this is one scale on the printer, so I have to buy two points, which gave me this one. Okay, now look at that. That is massively bigger, but it's not uber long, uber like the size of a grill arm. Okay, so I was looking at it and I was like, all right, so let's measure it up. Okay, and I was like, oh wow, that's actually very close so i was like all right so cool i put that put that down I was like, all right we're gonna we're gonna print out a bunch of pegs 
So I had to go over and okay, one second. Okay. Whoops. Okay. Now here's the peg. Whoops. Here's the peg that fits the Alien Queen's torso. And doesn't look too bad on the arm. But I have so much stuff in here right now. Um here's the here's the one I printed and I broke it. Um how did I break it? It's because I went this way and I snapped it. So you see, like it's a little bit of glue and it's probably back to good and I can probably use it on another figure. Um, in that box you also see that I have um, some He-Man armors, which is a lot of fun by the way. I have more of these, which is the He-Man crossbows. Um, this is from the old printer so it's not the best. Look at, uh, that's like, yeah. That side's all chewed up. That side's chewed. Okay, so we're, we're gonna go back and redo that. Oh, what's this? Yeah, here's another Auto 9. That's the other one I was looking for right there. That's not mine. Okay, some more He-Man armors. Now, I will pr I will work on something, print it off, and then you will see a final product being printed. So, you saw this being printed flat on the thing. Popped off and then looked at, and it looks like that. Not too bad, right? Not too bad. So, that took a few per tries. Okay. Um, I've also printed off... I also print off hands and stuff for my action figures. Now you may have seen my uh, T hundred file. It didn't turn. I I I was like, eh, let's put it on. We'll check it out. And then it being too big, so then I had to go back and program some more. I mirrored this one and from what I did, and that's how it turned out. It didn't turn out too bad, so that's probably gonna end up on my original printed He Man type figure, type figure, not the actual figure. No. Look, here's, here's more. I got a bunch of these printed off. Look, look, there's a giant size difference in these. See that? See, now I, I was like, I don't know what size this peg's going to need to be. So I went from 1 to 8 in different sizes. Starting at 1, all, starting at 1, ended up at whatever this is. And it's huge. So I was like, all right, you know. No, you've seen these. I posted these. These are this. This, I've upscaled this quite a bit because my, I've got big hands. Now, yeah, see? And that looks, that, that that's not, that's, that, that feels good. Yeah, but, uh, whoop. I'm gonna leave it there. I've got more. That's better. Now that's a slightly too big on the pinky for me, but that's fine. And yeah, they do work. I'm like a little surprised. I These are keychains to me. But then I was like, all right, well, it's a knuckle duster. Let's see how it works. And no breakage. I was like. I was a little surprised. Now that's going on a personal store. It's not going on the Action Toys channel. Or anything. Um, this I got off of Thingsverse because I thought I, I was just looking. And when I see it, I was like, hey, I can make my own. So, yeah, that's that. I printed this off. So we're going to see how that goes. Like, this is tight on my hands. It hurts to have my fingers in there. That's too tight. That's too tight. Now see that. Three of the fingers are way too tight. My pinky is a quarter of a, mil a quarter off of what it should be. If you ever look at my hands and I'm doing stuff, look. See that? That pinky is supposed to be up to this knuckle right here, but right there. But, yeah. It's slightly too short. All right. Now, another thing I've done is I've gone through and I printed off some of these. Now, what are these? Well, if you're a, Mo a Mutu collector, you'll know exactly what this is and how hard it is to get a hold of these. This is a rail for the elevator, okay? That's one side. Okay, one second, guys. Okay, now here's the other side. And they do connect together, okay? All right, so they do connect together. They do require a little cleaning, as always. Okay, now this is pretty long. You can... Okay, you can see that it fits inside the camera and a little bit more. 
Okay, so that's that. Now, saying that, uh, a long one that's being printed, you can print off these. This ain't cleaned up yet. Um, this connects, this pushes into the, 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 um, what do you call it? This presses into the playset, okay? And it does fit tight. And this holds your, uh, and that holds your, um, rail. Now the rail just slides on the side of the, of the elevator. It works well, so, you know. Yeah, uh, here's another hand. I think this is the one I put on the Terminator. Because it's like, it's like point two too big. And I'm gonna like, oh well, I'm gonna take it off and I'm gonna make some more. Now, one thing I have done is I've taken all these out of my collection for my figures. I have around 100, but I'm still printing these off because I only have the one yet. And the one that someone said was coming hasn't showed up. So now I'm not, I'm no longer counting on it showing up. So I'll just save up and buy another one because it's gone so good. In fact, I may even start a, a 3D printing farm at some point. Okay. And then take something like this, you know, it's very thin. It's not the best that you can get out of a 3D printer. But you know what I will do is I will make it free on my Thingsverse account. Because look at that, that's paper thin, right? You can just heat that up and it'll slide on your figure. You can paint these red and it will look fine on there. Okay, that's good. Yeah. Um, things I've... Okay, where'd it go? Okay. Now, as you know, I have had a... Uh, I printed myself a 3D figure before. Now, I made myself some wings for the second figure. Now, you can tell where that's going. Yep. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Just so... Got a point. Oh, no. It's stuck. Okay. Now, you see how big this one is in my hand, right? Now, I got some big hands. I'm a... I'm a a 2XL for wearing gloves, okay? So, and then that's that. That is um, a peg. And I and I don't know if it'll fit legs or not for uh, modern action figures, but I am going to try and see if that works. I was like, literally just put a ball in a, in, a, in a cylinder together. And I was like, all right, let's try to see how this works out. All right. Okay. Whew. All right, guys, I ranted at you for over 17 minutes now, and I don't know if we got anywhere, but I just want to show you what so far the things that have been printed on a 3D printer. Now, I am really happy with these uh, little figures here. Now, even the ones that I guess this is the best one so far. Well, no, it's not actually. See, now the ones that aren't the best, they, they turned out well, but they all lip up right here. But that's fine. Um, my brother's telling me risk or something like that. Is it risk? Whoops. Um, the figures had to be half that size. So I was like, oh, okay. So I was like, all right. So that's how that's going to go. So, um, I'm going to put some of this stuff away and get it off my desk. Oh, no. Thing. All right, guys. This has been a lot of fun sharing with you. So until next time, stay awesome. And as always, love the broken. And see you later. Bye-bye.